This is an Ozobot Evo. As you can see, it follows black lines. And those color codes on there, the blue, black, blue, and the red, black, red, those are going to either speed up or slow down the robot. So you can see red, black, red slows it down, and then blue, black, blue will speed it up. So it actually can read simple codes. Uh, and this is a tool that we use to help kids learn how to do some programming. So very simple programming. Uh, they don't need to be able to read to do this. So here's some of the other color codes that we can use. You can see there's quite a few of them. So another thing that we can do with the color codes, instead of using marker, which can be a little difficult for some kids, we can add stickers. And I also want you to note while I'm doing this that sometimes the robot stops. That's because it can actually sense when there's an obstacle ahead of it. So you'll see a few times it stops because it senses my fingers are there or my hand. So I'm gonna be adding some blue and green stickers here. Uh, depending on which way the robot is going, it's going to either make it go super slow or super fast. So you can see this way makes it go really slow and it flashes its light. That's the snail dose color code. And then if I turn it around the other way, it'll go super fast. So the other way is turbo. So you can see blue, green, red makes it go really fast and it flashes its lights as well. Now I'm adding another color code and this one's going to make the robot spin around. So this is gonna be, depending on which way the robot's going, it's gonna be either green, red, green, or red, green, red. And each of those is going to give us a slightly different behavior. Um, the fact that it does different things depending on the order helps to teach the kids that the order of the code is actually really important. So we can see here, it's still pausing every time it sees my arm in the way. And it's gonna go over our snail dose code one more time. Sometimes it takes a little bit too long to wait, so we're gonna just plop it over here. And now you can see here it goes, it's gonna spin around, and the lights change. And then it goes back on the path. Now if we go the other way, you can see that the behavior is slightly different. One of these is tornado and the other one is spin and it's just gonna keep going on its way. So in addition to the Ozobot Evos, we also have a slightly less complex cousin, the Ozobot Bit. Um, you can see it's a little bit smaller than the Evo, but it still follows the color codes, and it does not have the sensor to let it know that I'm in front of it. But you can see it still does the spin and the tornado, it still does the snail dose, and it still follows the black lines.